Hey everybody! So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be the mid-monthly for our Aries, okay? So Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, this is intended for you, okay? If you have any of those Aries placements, then this message is intended for you, all right? Somebody here just got a divorce, okay? Let us see. Somebody here just finalized the divorce. All right, that was a clear audience message, but we have temperance here, okay? So I feel like somebody here is healing after that has happened or taken place. I also feel here where if you have not gone through any sort of divorce, this is just someone who is perhaps taking baby steps with something in their life, okay, when it comes to doing something. I see the queen of pentacles here, okay, as the challenge. So for some of you, it may just be getting back on your feet again, okay, after having been in a situation where it was interdependence, um you know intertwined yeah getting back on your throne and being independent all right solo dolo is what i just heard it all right <clears throat> sorry fellas i just heard mrs solo dolo so it looks like this is a feminine <laughs> read okay that's what i see here mrs solo dolo all right so let us see focus for our aries what do we got we got the ace of coins that's what you're focused on see what i'm saying so the challenge for you is securing yourself again getting back on your own too all right being that person that you have to be which is super independent super woman super mom i just heard okay so let us see what we got potential outcome for our aries all right it won't let us go nowhere all right six of swords the moon and the Ten of Cups, all right? So I feel here that you guys are standing your ground, all right? I feel like you're going to do a co-parenting situation with somebody, all right? This is the truth of the situation. You may be moving just because you feel like that would be the most beneficial uh, arrangement for you and your family. You may be moving closer to this person, okay? You and this person may decide to still stay near each other is what I just heard, okay? There may have also been a family trip that was scheduled in advance. You're still going to go on this family trip as a unit, okay? So let us see temperance. Temperance. We have the Ten of Staffs, okay? Ten of Staffs is about hard work, all right? Putting in a lot of effort. I feel like I said this is what you're working for, all right? To heal, to do things piece by piece and bit by bit. You are gathering yourself again, getting your life back in order, all right? Queen of Pentacles, why are you here for our Aries? A lot of abundance, a lot of wealth, all right? Two of Swords. Some of you don't think that you're capable of getting back on your two feet, but you are, is what I just heard from Spirit, okay? Be patient with yourself. Let us see what's going on with the Empress energy. Empress energy for our Aries, please, Spirit. Empress energy, please and thank you. I also just heard that some of you are um, expressing your truth with no care. All right, we have the Five of Wands. While others of you are still going through that internal conflict, like you want to express this new independent Mrs. Solo Dolo energy, um, here's your energy, Queen of Staffs, but at the same time, you don't want people to think anything you know, less of you or stuff like that with this Knight of Swords. While you go and be and living in your truth and, you know, doing your thing. Because the serpent represents truth and knowledge, right? So I feel like you want to express this other side of yourself, this goddess side of yourself. But you don't want people to look at you as anything less than serious and stern. And so, like, you're having this internal conflict that's going on, this, this inner battle, okay? So I feel like that's what you're impartial about, being, like, super dependable, reliable, stable, and turning up, having fun, because you feel like those things help you heal, okay, from what you just experienced. So let us see for those of you who just went through the divorce and separation. So Ace of Coins for our Aries. Ace of Coins for our Aries. Nine of Coins. Exactly. Being independent, stabilizing your life again. Okay. Getting back on your shiz. Nah, that's what we're focused on. And let's see what's going on with this moon, six of swords, and ten of cups. I feel like I said for some of you, there was a family trip that was already scheduled. You guys are still going to go on this family trip. And for others of you, you're just going to be moving closer to your ex or your ex is moving closer to you so that you can do the co-parenting thing together. Okay. And it doesn't have to be so difficult. I feel like this is going to come as a shock to some of you that this is happening like this because you totally expect this person to go on their way all right i also feel like it's going to be very like um difficult for your heart healing process okay however i feel here with the nine of cups that overall you're going to be just happy that this is behind you it's in the past you're single you know you're focused on yourself again you know you've grown and in this this relationship has taught you so much or whatever the situation was has taught you plenty and so now you can apply that to the rest of your life so if this was your message or it resonated give it a thumbs up and if you have yet to do so please do go ahead and subscribe Peace and hangers.